Welcome to Origination Overload. Today, I'm going to talk about the hardest part about making music, and that's lining up all the things you need, your energy, your focus, and structuring your time so that you can finish your musical ideas. So today, we're going to look at a solid plan to get shit done, as well as what you need to consider as a distraction or a motivation to help you along the way. We'll be talking about energy, focus, dopamine, and other factors. So I'm making this video because the last two months I've been trying to make videos, but it just hasn't worked out. I've been unhappy with the results and I've really been struggling to focus. I've been beating myself up about it and I'm just, I'm just tired of feeling shit. So take off your Doc Martens, remove your dripping eyeliner, stop listening to Taylor Swift and Let's check out these ideas. So let's start with the why. People want to be appreciated and people have the desire to feel important. A lot of the times we associate our ego with these feelings and a lot of that is based on our creativity and how it makes us feel. So some truths before we start this. Um, you're going to need some self-discipline and self-control because if you don't have that, then I guess we're just wild animals who follow our desires and cravings and who are unable to focus. You'll need to sacrifice things to isolate your focus. You need to be asking yourself, what am I not going to do today? And please don't sacrifice family or friends, but sacrificing a block of cheese or garden gnome, I guess that's okay. Wanting is suffering. If you want something, you're going to suffer for it. Either you're going to suffer from the pain of regret for not achieving your goals, or you're going to suffer from the discipline required to achieve your goals. Have goals, but don't have too many. And just think about the word focus. What is focus? It's follow one course until success. So this is an overview of the PDF that I'll be sharing with you. Uh, the link is in the description. Please download it and print it out. Uh, hopefully it will help you out. Let's talk about the things you need to get things done. First of all, we've got energy. And these things will either give you energy or take your energy away. Food, sleep, exercise, water, drugs, sugar. And these really can also affect your clarity. And things that also affect your clarity is things like Clutter? Is your room a mess? Is it distracting you? Are you on social media? Maybe your body's a bit inflamed from certain foods you're eating and it's not having a good effect on your clarity of your mind. Maybe you bothered about world news. Um, things that can help your clarity is intermittent fasting. Also something to think about is willpower. You need to have motivation, you need to have goals, you need to think about what is the best case and the worst case scenario for your situation. Uh, sometimes delaying your gratification and trying to regulate your dopamine will also help your willpower. A nice way to think about this is your brain has only got so much bandwidth or so much data it can process in the day. And if you waste your brain power on bullshit like news and social media you're not going to have the focus for the rest of the day to be able to work towards your goals another way to think about this is dopamine uh, every time you eat or you look at social media or something like that you get huge dopamine spikes which gives you the sense of pleasure and gratification now, if you have too many spikes early on in the day, it's really hard for you to achieve that kind of pleasure later on in the day. So my recommendation would be to either fast or be bored. It's good to sit down for a while and get yourself bored. You'll probably get agitated for a while, and then you should use that as a trigger to work towards your goals. Another interesting concept is habit stacking. Maybe you should think about as soon as I wake up, I'm going to do X, Y, Z, or before I eat, I'm going to do X, Y, Z, or as soon as I go home. You've got to think about certain things where you can use it as a trigger to do some kind of action. The way I like to organize my day is normally 
before I go to bed, I'll write a list and this list will be for the next day. And at the top, I'll write today, I will do one thing. And how I prioritize what to put here is I'll have two columns, one for urgent things, which is normally things which have a time limit, things which need to be done soon, and a list of important things. And underneath that, I'll have tomorrow, which is a list of things which I'm not going to do today. It's some things which I'm thinking about, which I'll possibly do in the future. Let's talk about a nice way to stay on top of your musical goals. So we'll write the project name or the working title, a date when we're going to start it. And we need to give a context. We need to think about your destination. What is the mission? Why do we want to do this? What's it going to make us feel? Uh, what is the vehicle? What is the medium we're going to use? Is it purely musical? Are we going to do music videos to it? Um, maybe you should even be thinking about marketing or whatever. Maybe that's too complicated. Petrol. How do we get into that flow state? Do we need coffee to do this? Do we need to fast? Maybe we just listen to some music that inspires us to sit down and create. What leads to the action, the keys? Uh, as I mentioned earlier, maybe it's a certain time and a place when I come home after work or before I go to bed and so on. So we should also give ourselves an instruction. We should define the task in simple words with a clear action and an outcome. We should give ourselves restraints. We should be thinking about what resources are we going to use and what are we not going to be using. Maybe it's certain VST instruments or synthesizer. What is the time limit we're going to give ourselves? Are we going to sit down for an hour at a time or two hours at a time? What's the quality of the work going to be? Are we trying to improve on what we've done before? Do we want to be better than ourselves? Uh, maybe better than another artist? Or maybe it's okay just to have a mediocre quality work. We just want to finish something. Quantity. How many songs are we going to produce uh, for this EP or this album? How long are the songs going to be? And very important is the deadline. When is it finished? When are we going to be done with it? And even if we're not finished with the project, we should still export our songs and get it finished by this deadline. Um, and what we have is what we have. Uh, maybe you'll want to think about what you're going to reward yourself with when you finish this. And also what you could be thinking about is what is your desired outcome from the project? Do you want to get certain amounts of downloads or certain amounts of likes? Do you just want to be happy with what you've done? And also make sure you write down what actually was the outcome of all this effort that you put into it. Also in this PDF is just some things just to remind you of some of the things I spoke about. And as well as a monthly plan. Here you could write uh, the month that you're working in and also the dates. Maybe your goal is uh, every Tuesday and Wednesday morning, I want to sit down for one hour and write music. And what you do is you'd write down the goal. And when you accomplish it, you just tick it off. And it's nice to see your progress over the month. It's quite motivating to see how that time adds up to the things you've made. So yeah, I hope uh, that gave you some ideas and some inspiration to move forward and to work towards your goals. Um, I'd love to hear your comments about your struggles or your victories in being creative. Uh, write me a comment below. I'll check it out and give you a reply. Thanks for watching and I'll check you later.